line of action of the resultant force is what we are going to see. So the equation of line of action. Okay. Let us consider existing more forces whose resultant force is this acting at the point x, y on the x axis. Now you see it means that if you want to from this point, from here you move x and then from here to here we move y units. And then you see the x component of these forces is positive, even the y component is in that direction, meaning the resultant is going to act from there. Now, if we start taking moments about the origin, take moments about the origin now, it means that now the sum of moments that this one means, take the moments, but we are taking them and clockwise. Okay, if I come to the first y, you see this is how it's acting. It's perpendicular distance from the point where I take the moments to this, it's going to be x. That's why you get the force and the perpendicular distance from here to here, you see it's x. Okay, you see it's going to for it is going to act from this point, it's going to act. I think we see it acting and clockwise. If we come to now this force y, I think you can see the perpendicular distance from this force is y. So we get the force and why are we still acting? Because for it you see from here, it's going to go clockwise. And we say that if there is a change in direction, we attach a negative. So you simplify this, you get this, and to simplify this, you get that. Take this this side it becomes a negative and it's there, and this one it will be a positive. And this is the equation of line of action of the resultant force. Similarly, we can be obtained using the matrix approach for finding the sum of moments about the origin. Strictly, this is what when you are getting moments about the origin. Consider a resultant force this acting at the point x. Why? Then, take the moments about the origin is the same as getting the determinant of, you see this is going to be the x coordinate of where this force is acting. And this is the y coordinate where that force is acting. This is the x component of the resultant force, and this is the y component of the resultant force. In that order, you know how we get the determinant of this matrix? We get the, this is the major. This is the minor diagonal. We get the product of elements in the major diagonal. We get this times this, we get this. Then minus the product of elements in the minor diagonal. This times this, we get that. When we take it this side, you see we are going to have the same equation. We are having a note here. Note, B always has the same sign as taking the sum of moments and clockwise. So when you take and moments and clockwise, they are going to be having the same sign as B. And B always has an opposite sign to the sum of moments taken clockwise. So when you see that, always the sign of B here is going to be the same as the sign of B taking moments clockwise. But if you take them clockwise, I mean take them and clockwise, but if you take them clockwise, it means that it's going to be having the opposite sign. Why? Because here, this formula is standing when they are taking signs, I mean when they are taking moments and clockwise. So that means that the sign of the sum of moments taken and clockwise will be the same as this one. And you see, when you take them clockwise, it will be opposing this. That's why for it to be having an opposite sign. So if this one gives you a negative, then when you take the them clockwise, it will give you a positive. Let us see, let us use this example to digest this property. Find the sum of moments of a force 4i plus 3j n acting at 2i plus 2j about the origin. So we take moments about the origin. This formula works only when we take moments about the origin. Now, I'm going to first use the first two approach of using the axis. Okay, so you see this force is acting at the point 2, 2. 2, 3 is here, which is going to be here. Then this force, the x component is 4, but it's positive. This is 4, difference. The y component is 3, still it's 6, positive. 3 newtons. This is 2, that's what we add. Now, remember when we say this is our origin, if I want to take, let me start by taking them clockwise. These are now my 
5 here, and it is going to be. If we start with now, we are taking them clockwise. We start with the four different spots. From here, we see where it's facing. Clockwise, this operator is going to be clockwise, as you see. So you shall get the force, then type the factor distance from here to here. So there are two units. So I'll get the force 4, and the factor distance, you see, is going to be 2. When I come now, this, where is the perpendicular distance? You see, it's acting like that. This perpendicular distance is there. But already, you see, it's going to be acting and clockwise. That's why I'm going to use a negative, then three diamonds from here to here. They are two units, which will give me a two, then Newton units. Now, let us also say case when we are taking them by this time and clockwise. I take a moment about the ring. At this time and clockwise. Look at the B. Our B will be now and clockwise. We shall have this done to bring us and clockwise first. This perpendicular distance from the lower end moment here. You see, this perpendicular distance is going to be 2. Then you shall get 3 times 2. Then minus when you come to this for it, you see it's going to be going clockwise, which will be 4 times 2 which will give us negative 2 Newton units. Now, let us use this formula of getting them about the current. Our B is going to be, now, this one going to be having the X component. Remember this point is 2, 2. So I'm going to be having 2, 2. Then the X component of the first is 4. Then the y component is 3. Let us get the determinant, we shall get this times this, 3 times 2, then minus 4 times 2. I think this is going to give us negative 2, still the 20 units. I think you see, always B has the same sign as taking moments, as taking some moments and clockwise. You see, and clockwise. Same side. And B has an opposite side to the sum of moments taken clockwise. Positive. I think you have yeah, seen this is clockwise. And you see there. Then this one is going to be and clockwise. As you see there. So it's like anti-clockwise, the sign is the same. Negative, negative, clockwise has the sign opposite. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will show you where.